So we've got all-purpose jointing compound. We've got some trowels, we've got some buckets, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be tackling it. But we don't have any of the tape down here. Anthony's got some tape up there, and he told me not to buy any because he bought a, a whole, whole bunch. So I'm gonna go grab some tape, and I'm also gonna try to grab them and have them show me their tricks and whatnot that they learned because I've never used the paper tape and I've never done drywall like this and they've been doing it and it came out looking really good for them. So just gonna pick their brain and see what uh, what they did and how it, they did it and whatnot to make it look so good because I would like to have it look pretty good. So yeah, let's go. Ooh, it's so bright outside. Come on, lady. Luna, you gonna come out? He's like, no. No, nah, Luna wants to hang out in the nice uh, basement. Mm -hmm. oh, it's cool in here. It's nice in there. Yeah. Uh, so, those of you guys that don't know, Anthony, who we're talking about, is with Country Road Cure. And uh, it's Anthony and Roxanne. Anthony actually is my big brother. Yes. We actually purchased this property with them, uh, and we did this whole big crazy family move thing. And you guys have seen their, their building in a lot of our videos in the background. It is... This right there, you see that? That is a gorgeous shed to house that they've been working on. Uh, they got their beautiful garden in the front and in the back of it, they've got Thunderdome and their chicken coops and their lean-to and everything. So they have a lot of really cool stuff on their channel. If you guys have never checked them out, I highly, highly suggest them. They have wonderful content. You guys are gonna enjoy their shed to house build. I'm gonna put a link over by Gary's head somewhere. <laughs> go check it out. Make sure to subscribe and let him know that the, his little sis says what's up. But let's go see what they're up to right now. And let's see if we can snag them. And then me and Gary got to do uh, this mudding. Yeah. What's going on, guys? What up? You guys hanging out with your chickens? No, I'm building the next coop. Oh! For the roosters, because they're going nuts. Yeah. Oh, no, look at, look at these beautiful birds they have, guys. <laughs> Anthony and Roxanne said that I can take one of them. Uh, which one was it? It's this, that, that guy over there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna name him Chanticleer because he looks like Chanticleer from that one movie when we were kids. So what exactly are you guys building right now? Uh, this is just a coop for all the roosters because you can't have more than like, you know, one rooster per 10 hens. Because the hens will get demolished. Yeah. There's too many <laughs> men in there. You gotta separate them. So yeah. that's what this is for. Plus, this would be the, the coop that they go to when they're gonna get processed kind of a thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm all. I, they're not here to, to look at. No, they have a purpose. Yes, they do. All, all things on the homestead have That's to right. have a purpose. Eggs and meat. That's right. Well, we come over to uh, see if we could steal you guys for a little bit, take you away from your project. Sorry, all the country road cure lovers. We're gonna interrupt them if they can be interrupted. Can we borrow you guys for a minute? Yes, I guess. I guess. Come on, I need to have the experts. You guys have been. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I need the Seriously. experts. I don't know about that. Yeah. Hey, man. But y'all got y'all got that everything looking nice. Yeah. That, so if our house, our basement, can turn out anywhere near as good as Thunderdome did, I mean, I'd say we did something right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so come give us some tips and tricks. Plus, we came to steal your tape. Oh yeah. 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 I got you. Got more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here's 500 feet. Dang! <laughs> That's a lot of tape. Dude, I got like four more of those. We're probably gonna need every. You never knew. I was like, man, mm -hmm. I might need like 30, right? 30 rolls, and I don't want to go back, you know, an hour trip to go get more. <laughs> that would suck. So I just said, and it's not that expensive. No. It's like six bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, thank, thanks, bro. There you go. Appreciate it. Yeah. Let's right. get it. All right. So guys, we're down here in the basement. Anthony and Roxanne were kind enough to take a little break from their project and uh, come show us a thing or two with this mudding. You guys have been after it now for a while over at uh, your place. Guys got Thunderdome looking really good. You guys are doing drywall inside the main house as well, so it's fresh on your mind. So I know you guys will be very good uh, examples for us to follow. So 
You ready to show me a thing or two, bro? Pretty easy. It's not too hard. <laughs> okay. All right. So easy peasy, man. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on you two. Why don't you guys show me what's going on, and then Roxanne, I'll ask you about your tips for these uh, screw holes in a second. And I'm gonna caveat real quick here, guys. I am not a drywall mud bunky pro or nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> rock hand. We just barely been doing. Well, I think he's the pro of the 41.36. And you can add water to this if you want, but I can only show you what I've done. Yeah. I didn't add no water to it. I just grab a big blob and put a bunch in there because look at how liquidy it is. Oh, it looks yeah. like Play-Doh. Yeah, yeah, it looks like frosting or something. Yeah. <laughs> nope. So get a big giant glob in there, add more, and we need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're gonna, you're gonna have like, when the house is done, you'll probably go to like. You're putting out two boxes, maybe five, five. of those boxes. You I think, think five? Well, I with three so. coats. I'm talking about the whole house. Yeah. Depending on what you guys do upstairs, I don't know if you're gonna do upstairs. Yeah. Well, I'm for the saying. basement, I'm gonna say three. Yeah. Almost three. Oh. So start off a little bit like that. Mm, and then stab it. This is the best, or? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. I just stab it. I mean, does that seem seem like it's clay? Or yeah. hard or anything, it's like smooth, right? Yeah, it's pretty. That's Come all on. we did. Yeah, you see? It's good. Oh, it is. It's like I think frosting. I think You're right, water. Roxanne. It's just like frosting. The way I did it, Yuri, people say, you know, as little as little mud as possible. But I'm telling you right now, this first seam when you're using the paper, man. Get that mud in there because if you don't put enough mud, it's gonna blister. Okay. And so what I used to do, I'm gonna just you do the you're doing the first wall. Just at least put well, something on there because this is your house. At least do that. <laughs> at least there you go. Now I now I can say you did you did the first wall. I wasn't somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you got the bragging rights, That's Gary. Right. You got the you bragging rights. Move it back and forth like that to get it in. You or? can. So the way I did it was like this. What? This is how I did. We'll yeah, you. we want to see the so master look, at work. So, look, so notice I'm doing that too. Okay. Notice I'm doing this and I. Okay. And because it off and you'll, you'll have, I'm putting pressure on the top and okay. not on the bottom. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. This is how I did it. This first coat, get it in the crack like you're doing. This is how I did it. And it came out really good. Cause you don't want a lot of spread too far everywhere. Cause you're gonna have that bigger one. Okay. Okay, follow me? Yeah. So then you come back. But this is, this is for your tape. Yeah. That's why okay. you put it on so fat for the tape yes. part. Okay. Okay, you don't want it to be thin because now you got a little bit this like I said this is how I did it. I grab, grab some tape. Grab some tape. Okay. And look, I'm just like right now I'm like super lightly grabbing it to get the big clumps off. That's all I'm doing. Notice there's a lot inside here. Yeah. You think, man, that's way too much. No, it ain't. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Just get the length of it. So put right where that bend is at, right in the middle. Right. Take no uh, stuff on it. Okay, so add. Okay, so I'm sticking, I'm sticking it to it. Okay, boom, that's done. Got a little bit. And you're gonna do three coats of this. Yeah, I'm gonna say, don't worry that you can see the tape. Yeah, don't worry about that right now. Yeah. What your goal is right now is to get this tape glued pretty much. Yeah, it's stuck. If that makes sense. Okay. And that's why you use a smaller one, because you don't need a giant thing of it there for the tape. Right? right now, your goal is the tape. Okay. The tape is stuck. Top, middle, bottom. Right at the top, and do the middle. Okay. 
So this is dry, you're done, everything is golden. You take a light sand to this to smooth it, and it's by touch. Yeah. And by look. Okay, yeah. smooth, cool. Then I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Because it needs to dry. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the whole thing, you're gonna do start off the middle, and then you're gonna wanna go like a whole trowel size huh. above. Okay. Right? And below. Okay. So we're going to have some really thick stripes going through the walls. Yeah, you're going to want like a two foot. Yeah, it's going to be big. About like this. Okay. Because it blends really easy like that. If you just have a little tiny thing, you can see it. Yeah. But if it's fat like this and you're easily, and when it's dried and sanded, you're not going to see anything. Okay. It's going to be a big giant Are you guys texturing your walls? Yeah. Yes, so actually. Better. So we got yeah. like eight of those, I want to say. We got like eight of these. So when it's all said and done, it will be textured. It's not going to be crazy textured, but... But don't be afraid for the mud in the beginning, dude. I'm telling you, man. Okay. I'm telling you. Sweet! Trust me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I so, appreciate it. So, Gary, you think you know what you got going on now? Yeah, or at least the beginning. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll, you'll find, and, and I'm sure you already have it. You're, you're going to find your own way to do it. You'll be fast and be like, yeah. oh, I do it this way. I like it this way better, and blah, blah, blah. Figure it out. Yeah. Next thing you know, you'll be like, I can't stand muddy no more. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to happen. That's for sure. So guys, I'm going to let them get back to uh, their coops and stuff that they're building over there. Me and Gary are going to continue the mud party. Thank you guys for helping us. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hate to interrupt you guys. But that's all right. <laughs> but we're going to get after it. Um, make sure to go check out their video. I know that they're working on one. You guys can see everything that they're doing with their coop build and everything that they've got going on with the shed, the houses, the chickens, the gardens, uh, their family, and they have amazing content. So couldn't be prouder of them. Thank you guys. I love you so much. But for me and Gary, it's time to get mudding. So get busy. Yeah, we're going to busy. Gary and I are getting ready to uh, go do the back area for the yes. hallway and all those back rooms back there, but I'm getting a little uh, weary. How about you? I am too. I need a little pick-me-up. A little pick-me-up? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go back to the house really quick and bring us both back a pick-me-up, and then uh, we're going to keep on keeping on. All right. All right.
Considering the source of where our pick-me-up is coming from, I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to today's video sponsor, which is Athletic Greens AG1. Man, they have an amazing product. Gary and I have been using it now for, uh, I don't know, a couple of months. It's helped us to uh, kick drinking so much coffee because we used to drink a ton of coffee. Um, but now we're drinking a lot of the AG1. I got a lot more information I want to share with you guys about it, so uh, listen to this. So AG1 by Athletic Greens helps us in our day-to-day -day life by boosting our energy and it helps to add mental clarity for us. You know me with my squirrel brain, I could use as much mental clarity as I could possibly get. It's packed full of 75 minerals and whole food sourced ingredients. You'd be hard pressed to find a more comprehensive powder supplement on the market. Athletic Green sources the best and highest quality ingredients it can find, and it helps to support your body's normal detoxification process. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, vegan, keto, low calorie, and less than one gram of sugar per serving. Well, cheers, baby. Cheers. Mmm, I love drinking my vitamins. Mm -hmm. I love how easy it is for me to get all my daily vitamins in one drink. Mm -hmm. AG1 is a, makes it very easy. It's one scoop and eight ounces of water. Mix it up and there you go. You got all your daily vitamins and it's nice little uh, pep every morning and everything like that. Yeah, and then when you're on the go, they do have these really cool little travel packets too, which makes it so easy and convenient for when we're traveling around. Uh, we absolutely love them. Yes. So we wanted to say thank you so much to Athletic Greens AG1 for sponsoring today's video for us. We absolutely love their product and we know that you guys are gonna love them as well. Yes. Um, they actually wanted to do something really cool for you guys at home as well. We pinned a comment down to the description below as well as in the comment section. The URL is athleticgreens.com slash simple life reclaimed. If you guys follow that URL, you guys are gonna be able to get one free year supply of the D3 and K2 supplement with your one year purchase of AG1. So I yes. hope that you guys really, really really give it a try and enjoy it because it is amazing and it's worked wonders for us so yes it's given me a lot of energy and it's perked up my day and yeah it starts off right in the morning just like coffee would yeah we are just completely thrilled and so thankful that they wanted to uh, be a part of our build be a part of our journey and to supply us with a wonderful product that we can use in our day-to-day -day life so thank you again to ag1 athletic greens for sponsoring today's video gary you ready to get back to work oh yes all right, let's do it. Let's get it.
night, everybody. The next day, Gary and I got a ton of work down here in the basement done in this hallway. Uh, obviously, the whole front wall. And you have been getting it, babe. Yes, indeedy. Dang, look at all this. You got that all uh, taped and mudded. I hate, I hate corners. Nobody puts a baby in a corner. Oh, it looks I good, though. All this mud in there, so I can actually use the corner trowel. Mm-hmm. I don't sit there and fight with the corner trowel trying to get the mud. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, but it should be good from this aspect right now. Wow. Make sure that that tape is glued in there. Looks good, baby. All the uh, nail dots had a time to dry overnight, so what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is start sanding the walls for all of the, uh, the nail dots and then going over it and doing it again. I'm probably going to start working on all of the sanding for the taped areas in the front room so Gary can come back and put his second layer of uh, mud over the seams. I'm working my way that way. Yeah, you're making progress. I had to do the a learning curve on these corners. Wait. The, which is why I'm just like, nope, you know what? Let's pack it full of mud for right now because I can always scrape it out. Hey. <laughs> Just like so. Nice. So the walls in this front room are dry and they look really, really good uh, up close and personal. Check it out. They look really, really good. There's really not a whole lot of sanding that I need to do, but I am gonna go over it lightly with a handheld sander. I think that if I used an electric sander at this stage, uh, it'd just be creating a whole lot of dust and it's really unnecessary. So I'm gonna go over all the walls with the handheld sander and get it done. And then Gary can come over here and put on the second application of mud. taped and mudded. Uh, that was a lot of taping and mudding. All the screw holes have been uh, mudded and sanded. Everything, this whole wall has actually been sanded. Sure. We got all of the hard work of uh, all the seams, the initial seaming them together is done. Yes. All of the holes have been done at least once. 
So this is going to be a process. We're going to have to continue doing this a few more times. And I don't ever want to do it again. No. <laughs> but so, we, have, we have to keep going. So. Yep, we've got the first coat done and then the second coat itself. Hopefully we'll be able to tackle it. Yeah. So I won't be having to mess with the, the tape anymore. Yes, <laughs> which is very time consuming. Oh man, that was, uh, that was tedious. But. but you know what? It looks really good. There's no blisters or bulging or anything on any of the tapes that yeah. I can see. Um, it looks really, really good. And I know that once we get another few layers of the mud, you won't even be able to see the tape anymore. And then after we paint it, I mean, it's yeah. going to be golden. Should be good. The next step is floating it, which I'm, that's the one part I'm dreading because <laughs> if I don't float it correctly, it's going to be a lot of sanding yeah. and a lot of headache if it's not floated enough. Yeah, and the sanding so. is. So, as you saw in the front room, that's all done and sanded and everything else like that. But this back area is where we needed to tackle in the hall. Although it's done. In the closet is done, even this side and everything. I mean, you're not gonna really be inside this closet to see it, but, uh, yeah, I got it done anyway. Man, those corners look really good, Gary. Dude, those corners are a pain in my butt. Thank you, corners. Hey, <laughs> corners. It looks good, though. It looks really good. Gary put a metal piece right underneath here. Um, I don't, you can kind of see it a little tiny bit, but there's a metal piece right here connecting both pieces of drywall. That way, you know, somebody hits this corner or whatnot, it's not gonna just break the drywall. Yeah. So, nice protector. Yep. And yeah, we got all that done. Got it sanded so I can do my uh, second coat in here. Yep. So the front wall in here, it's got sanded, so ready for me to do the second coat. It's the hallway, the bathroom. This needs to be sanded in here, closet. Well, it's gotta dry first. Yes. All this has to dry, but I just did it today. Yeah. We got this all done. We got these in here done. Getting closer and closer. Little one though. It's getting there. I wish that you could put it on and then, you know, like that same day, sand it and work with it, but drywall and mudding just doesn't work that way. You have to be very patient with it and you have to spread it and let it dry and then you can sand it and yeah. Each day I'm like, all right, today should go by a little quicker. Yeah. And it doesn't. Well, you so. know what? We got to keep our optimistic <laughs> attitude because if we looked at it as if it was like this huge mountain, uh, then we'd never actually want to take the steps to go over it. But because we have such an optimistic attitude where it's like, oh, we'll be done by tomorrow at noon, you know? Uh, it keeps us motivated and it keeps us going, you yes. know, because we look at it like, oh, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. So as long as we keep a good positive attitude, we'll be well, fine. I'm hoping tomorrow that will be the case with the second coat when yeah. I go to float it. I'm hoping We're it gonna should, find uh, out. So. go by a lot quicker. We're going to run, but until then, guys, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. All in all, though, babe, I'd say we're making some good progress. Yes. Yeah, some really good progress. Yeah, right. Slowly but surely. It won't be long now. Nope. At least it's what we got to keep saying. <laughs> keep that motivation. <laughs>